Hey guys, how's it going? Um, Monday morning and uh, sunny out, as you can see coming through the windows behind me. Uh, yeah, making good progress on this uh, on this truck. Uh, today I'm going to concentrate on cleaning up the seat frame and those springs and see if I can uh, make those springs fit better. Um, <clears throat> and then maybe sort out a, uh, a back for the seat. And once I have all that figured out, well, I can call the upholstery person and have uh, have them come out here and uh, take a look at this thing and see what uh, what kind of magic they could do with it. And uh, you know, I'm gonna have to get door cards made up and stuff like that as well. So I just like to get uh, get a head start on the interior and see what we can uh, get get going on. Um, other than that, you know, it's uh, a lot of sanding and stuff like that to do, and uh, once I get this interior sorted out, the next big thing, I guess, will be exhaust. So, uh, yeah, we've got plenty to do, so let's get after it, man. Okay, well, I'm going to mask up because this is going to be nasty. Good thing I had a shower this morning. I'm going to need another one after this. Jesus. thinking that uh, the vacuum cleaner might be in order. Wow. Or just take it outside and blow it out. Yeah, that is nasty. Yeah, oh, great.
Okay, well, as you can see, I think this is going to take a while. But uh, I'm going to carry on getting this thing cleaned up and uh, show you what it looks like when, I, uh, when I'm done. Okay, before I finish this up, I just wanted to show this real quick. You know, each, each coil is pretty much individually wrapped with uh, this burlap. Um, that's a lot of freaking work, man. How long did it take to make a seat? That's crazy. And how long is it going to take for me to cut it all out of there? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to carry on, get it out, and uh, get her cleaned up. All right. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I actually gave up on this yesterday for a while and got back to it this morning. It's now uh, Tuesday morning. But uh, it's all cleaned up. Um, man, what a pain in the ass. <clears throat> but, I mean, look at the condition of these springs. Most of them are shiny. So, uh yeah it's in pretty good shape i think i'm gonna have to close it in a little bit here not a whole lot though because you have the seat back coming down here on this heck so it's just a small kind of a triangle sort of deal so uh yeah i'll figure that out and see what i i can do there but uh hard to believe that you know it was that much stuff from one little seat jesus unbelievable it was you know I think they did it in rows and wrapped them up in burlap and sewed them all together and put a whole rose in. I don't know, but uh, what a pain in the butt to get them out. But anyway, it's cleaned up now and uh, probably give it a shot at trim clad just to uh, keep it in good shape and clean looking. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I dug out the back of the seat that came with the truck when I got it um, like I said I believe it's a later model Chevy maybe you know 63 64 something like that and it's about five inches too wide so I'll peel off the upholstery and see if I can uh, narrow it up a little bit so once I get it uncovered I'll have a better idea okay so I measured the frame and this is six and a half inches too wide. So I've marked it out with some tape. I'm going to cut it out. And, uh, you know, the, the frame itself is the easy part. <laughs> it's getting all this shit in here back together after. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start hacking away at it. We'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. If I end up messing this thing up, I do have another one. Um, but I'm hoping to get it right the first time so we'll see what happens okay so i've cut right through you know here and here as well as here and here now i'm not going to just start hacking away at springs here what i'm thinking is i'm just going to remove one row you know all the way up and when i go to put the two together this one and this one may overlap just a little bit but it's better than having too much of a space in between. So I'll know more once I cut this out. And these little springs down here, they just hook on. So we'll detach them and see where it brings us. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep hacking away at this. And uh, once we get it almost sort of put back together, I'll uh, show you where we're at. Okay, so we definitely have two halves. I uh, cleaned up the ends a little bit so I can weld them, bevel them. Um, Big trick here is going to be to keep them straight. So there's the uh, there's a one layer or a row of springs I took out, two pieces of the uh, original frame. I cut these two pieces of pipe. They're the exact same diameter as the inside of the seat. So uh, I'll tap them in halfway, and uh, you know the other half over there will slide onto onto the pin and uh, that should help keep it straight so uh yeah i'll set up the camera and we'll uh, put this thing together and i'll show you what it looks like all right so uh i've already tapped this one in
Come on. Okay, I'll finish banging that together, and then we'll uh, weld her up. All right, <clears throat> so there we go. Uh, cleaned up, welded, and it stayed straight as an arrow. It's uh, it's perfect, it's right on. So you know. No worries there. Uh, the only thing I do have to do is cut these off, both of them. This seat used to fold forward. Uh, the one we're doing is a fixed seat, so it doesn't fold forward. So these are just in the way. So I'll cut them off and round it out nice and clean it up. But before I clean up the whole frame, I'm going to uh, test fit everything together in the uh, seat frame and see what I got to do for the bottom cushion and uh yeah we'll go from there so uh moving right along we'll get this thing done today okay so there we go we now have a seat so remember i said it was tapered here in well i did this to widen it up basically it's uh <laughs> it's coat hangers so you know these kind of with these bends in here act like springs and it's all tied together. It's solid. I mean, I can, you know, I can pick up the whole seat from those uh, from those wires. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, yeah, everything seems to be solid. I kind of wove wove these uh, cone hangers into the some of the existing uh, hog rings and stuff like that. So it's all tied in together. And uh, yeah, there's a room here for padding and upholstery, and uh, you know, fits pretty good at the top as well. So. Uh, yeah, I'm pleased, quite pleased. So, huh, yeah, we're good to go. So I'm, I can finish cleaning this up and get it in the truck. And uh, then from there, I'll uh, I'll be able to figure out my uh, steering column position and exactly where my pedals are going to be and uh, carry on. So, uh, you know, this was tedious stuff, and I honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I kind of winged it here, but uh, I think it came out damn good. Um, you know, once it's all covered up with uh, with pad and uh, upholstery, who the hell's going to know the difference? So, uh, yeah, taking a 38 Ford seat, a 64 Chevy back into a 51 frame, why not? Hey, okay. well, I got a hell of a mess to clean up, but, uh, you know, before I get to that, I, I was just dying to try it. I, I couldn't help myself. So I, I threw it in the truck. It's pretty much where it's going to sit. And, uh, I sat on it and I got to tell you, man, it's like sitting on your couch in your living room and there's no padding or anything on it. This thing is awesome. It's going to be super comfortable and it's just at the right height. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm super happy with it. Um, you know, I just sat right on the springs and <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. So, uh, yeah, super stoked about that. It should be, uh, like I said, it'll be like riding down the road, sitting on your couch. So, uh, awesome. These old bench seats were always super comfortable anyway. You know, uh, that's what I liked about the old cars. Um, I mean, just look at those springs. Like, that thing is thick, man. So, uh yeah stoked up this is great so uh i'll take it apart and clean it up and uh we'll call it a call it a day on the seat so man that was actually two days work altogether but i think well worth it and i've got a seat now you know i don't have to worry about somebody uh getting a hold of me to tell me that they have one or i don't have to track them down or drive around or anything uh it's done so yeah right on so there you have it, uh, how to make a bench seat out of a bunch of junk, really. Um, <laughs> you know, that that 38 uh, uh, seat, 38 Ford seat that I had, I, I forgot I'd even had it, um, ended up saving my butt. Um, you know, and then trying to widen it using coat hangers, I mean, it works. Um, 
maybe that's not how you would do it <laughs> uh, feel free to uh, uh, leave comments down below and uh, you can tell me I'm a madman or a butcher or whatever but uh, hey it works and uh, and I'm quite pleased with it uh, like I said a time-consuming process uh, you know fitting all these fishing these wires and stuff through old clamps and clips and whatever uh, you know you're always getting tangled up and stuff like that but uh, if you take your time you know it's uh, it gets done and uh, you know save myself a good buck I think uh, so once I get it all cleaned up and painted and everything else uh, I'll call the upholstery person and see if uh, she'll come out here and take a look at this thing and uh, you know we'll talk some dollars and stuff and uh, between me and her, not between me and you. <laughs> Whatever. And uh, figure out where I'm at on the interior. I'm uh, also going to have to make up door cards, uh, kick panels, and uh, I want her to put a headliner in this thing as well. So, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll see how it uh, all pans out. Uh, hopefully she's available soon. Uh, I'll give her a call, you know, maybe... Well, this week I'll give her a call this week and see what uh, what she can do for me. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's coming along, man. We're tackling things uh, and getting them done, and it's uh, that's a good thing. And uh, I'm quite quite happy with all of that. Uh, the next big one I think is the exhaust. Uh, getting on that exhaust that's that's a big job, and I need to have at least up to the mufflers to uh, to fire this thing up. So, I'll probably get into the exhaust next video, and uh, i got to make some room in here as well. Um, so, as usual, <laughs> just, I seem to spend half my life shuffling stuff around and making room, you know. Uh, it wouldn't matter, though. I, you know, I could have 20,000 square feet and it'd be full anyway. So, what, what's the difference? Make do with what you got. At least I have a hoist, and that saves me a lot of hassle and time. So, uh, new subscribers... Thank you once again. Um, you know, if you've subscribed, tell your buddies and uh, help spread the word. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And, uh, you know, don't be, like I said, don't be shy to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you have better ideas, I'm open to hear them. Uh, like I said, I was learning right along with you guys. <laughs> I was making it up as I go along. I mean, shortening, narrowing the back of the seat wasn't too bad. That worked out real slick actually but uh the bottom of the seat making it bigger that was different so uh you know maybe the upholstery girl will look at it and say what <laughs> you want me to do what <laughs> anyway uh so yeah please subscribe and uh you know if you're not doing anything else get out in the garage and build something man later guys <laughs>